Well, hey there everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm not really sure if you clicked on this video to see my canoe modifications or just to watch me fall into the ocean. Good news is you'll get to see both. Um, I've decided to wait until closer towards the end of the video to show you <laughs> me falling into the ocean. So I'm gonna find just a quick spot out here. This is not the best day for paddling. It's cold, it's misty, kind of gross. But I'm gonna find a uh, quick little spot here so I can test out my canoe modifications and I can show you those and uh, maybe even drop a couple of lines into the water uh, for a bit. And uh, after I've shown you those and show you any fish that I may or may not catch, then I'll be happy to share with you the uh, footage of me falling into the frigid ocean and capsizing. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Okay, so the canoe modifications that I've made are to add an anchor point and to add a, a rod holder. Usually when I fish, I fish with a couple of rods and I like to do like a live bait rod and then I like to do, you know, more of an artificial lure type situation. Um, I also have probably more luck trolling than I do actually actively fishing. And so that's been kind of a difficult thing in this canoe is I don't have anywhere to put my rod. The trouble of fishing in this canoe without an anchor is that I'm a high profile craft. Um, even in this light wind like it is today, it's just kind of blowing across my face here, kind of taking me back this way, which the, you can see in the probably the camera that the, uh, the camera angle is changing, and that's because the wind is blowing me this way. It'll turn me sideways, and then it'll just blow me down the side of the coast here. So it's, it's, it can be troublesome to try to fish in a stationary spot. So I've got probably overkill, um, a 15-pound anchor. here really works well these are supposed to work well for sand um, and I don't know what's on the bottom of this lake I'm guessing there are probably some stumps and things like that but it's probably more just mush and gump and stuff so this will kind of sink down into that and hold I've got that tied on here to a, uh, an electrical cord um, holder and I've got that here on this rope so my original idea was I have a pulley there and I was going to run the rope through that pulley, drop the anchor down straight, and then anchor the line, the white line, not what you're looking at. Um, you know, I could maybe clip that on. Uh, I could clip this guy right here onto something like that. Here's the problem. The anchor is now kind of permanent. It, it can't be unattached. And if I got into a heavy wave situation or some boats were coming by fast and I got into a wake, I want to be able to detach from the anchor because it could be dangerous. It could flip me if I'm mounted to the floor of the lake and I take on some waves. So I want to be able to detach. And running it through that pulley would mean that it, I could detach, but it would still run through that pulley, so that is my point of connection. And so what I did is, I now, I guess I really don't use the pulley for what it's meant to be, but I just did a piece of paracord here um, and tied it with a little taut line hitch, and it doesn't have to be super tight, just enough that it can hold. And I'm going to clip uh, this guy to that, and so it'll kind of move up and down and if I come into something where I need to uh, take it off, I can unclip and toss it over. I got a zip tied uh, pull noodle to the bottom of this thing. So it'll float and uh, I could get past the waves or whatever and then come back and pick this up and reattach. So let's get this anchor in. So there we go. I'm kind of holding this position. I don't feel like I'm tracking anymore. I'm gonna kind of watch a feature here on the shoreline kind of make sure that you know find a big tree and make sure that I hold steady with it and I assume as long as it's not reeling out more line which it doesn't seem to be um, it should be holding me here so now I could fish the spot with no problem um, and you know when I'm ready to go I could I'm gonna pull it back up so um, that's that uh, check out this rod holder I'm getting ready to uh, bait up with some worm and just kind of drop it down like I was fishing for some catfish or something and let it hang down there for a bit. While I'm getting my worms on, I'll just talk to you real quick about how I created this thing. Um, I really cannot take credit for the design. I was, you know, watch a lot of YouTube videos and I saw uh, 
I saw somebody that um, had done this and I thought, wow, I mean, no sense reinventing the wheel. It looked like it's been done before. And so, you know, why not do it again? So basically it's two two by fours that form a type of clamp using just carriage bolts. And I decided to go with some uh, wing nuts um, so that um, I could hand tighten it and I didn't have to like pull a wrench out every time I wanted to, you know, to use the thing. So wing nuts so I could hand tighten and it just, you know, you slide it on, slide it off. It's, um, it's really pretty straightforward. Um, I really dig it because it's, um, it's not permanent. You know, it's not, it's, I didn't have to drill holes into my canoe. Um, it just, it's just there and I can take it off, I can add it on here with a lure while I'm live fishing. And I've really not been able to do that before until now, because now I have, I have the anchor, I have a rod holder, and now I can manipulate the lure while everything else is, you know, held in place. I mean, that's the basics. I don't want this video to be super long. I just wanted to introduce you to it. Um, I'm gonna stay in fish for just a little while. Conditions are not great, so I'm not hopeful. Um, if I catch anything, I'll, you know, make sure to throw up some clips of any fish that I catch. Um, but, um, without further ado, um, I'm gonna send you away to watch the uh, video of me falling out of my canoe into the ocean, so. Hope you enjoy that. Thanks for uh, watching everybody, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Hello, hello, hello. Time for an adventure. I've got the canoe. I'm here at Holden Beach, and uh, I've got a couple of goals today. First off, I've never been into the surf before with my canoe, so that's my first goal is to get out there and not dump into the ocean. <laughs> and my second goal, I uh, have some modifications for my canoe. I have modified um, a rod holder and a spot for an anchor and I want to test that out. So I want to see how that stuff goes and hey, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll catch a fish or two. Stick around, let's see what happens. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to get in this water. Do not want to get in this water. There we go. One time dumping is enough. I don't need to know that I need a second shot at doing that. Luckily, I think I got everything. 